Have you been trying to do YouTube shorts on your mobile phone but realize it's really bad quality once you finish the video? Well, I found a better way of being able to record your YouTube shorts videos on your PC. These few next clips, I'll be showing you how to actually get the proper resolution to be able to record your YouTube shorts videos and the best quality to get your YouTube shorts videos at. So when you first open up OBS, if you have never used it before, you will start off with a blank page. So the first thing you have to do is create a new scene collection. The way you do that is you click on scene collection at the top, press new and enter a name for your scenes. The reason for this is if you create multiple profiles and scene collections, it won't interfere with both of your either streaming and recording and your YouTube shorts since you have to change a few bits. So now creating your scene collection, you have to now make a new profile. With this, you have to also name this specific name that you'd like to call it. Once you complete that tab, you want to go to your settings and make sure you go to video. The one thing that you'll need to change first is the base canvas resolution. At the moment, this is 1920 by 1080. This is a standard size resolution for your streaming or recording. You will actually need to change that to 1080 and 1920. The second thing you will do is change your downscale filter to Lancros. And depending on how good your PC is, you can change your FPS to 60, 24 or 30. 60 being the best quality you can change it to. And as you see behind, this is the resolution that your YouTube Shorts videos will be at. The second thing, which is totally optional on how you set everything out, is you need to change your output. I've already set this up for mine. This isn't what I use I, at this moment. This is default. So this is completely default. Default. Make sure you do change your output mode to advanced and I'll put up a picture on what your setting should look like. And once you completed this, you can then start adding all your sources and your new scenes ready for your YouTube shots. So as you see here, this is what my YouTube shorts format will look like. I am using the two pictures of my intermission screen and I've just put them above and below. The reason for this is when you have your 1920 by 1080 camera, it won't be the size from the very top to the very bottom. So make sure that you put in your filler images or color to fit the theme that you're looking for when you're recording your light or your YouTube videos. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you do hit the like button. And if you found it helpful, make sure you also hit the subscribe button. If you didn't know already, I do live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you go check that out. That'll be in the description. It will have a link down there for you. But I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.